Hi everyone and welcome back to a new Angular Spring Boot episode. Now we are going to let all the information from the previous episode sink in and today we're going to talk a little bit about debugging because as your application becomes more and more complex you need to have the proper tools and know-how to debug it in an efficient manner. Now probably most of you know how to debug you know Java applications from IntelliJ and today we're going to see how we can debug Angular applications from within IntelliJ and we'll see how we can create a complete loop uh, around the request. So we'll put breakpoints in our Spring Boot app, breakpoints in our Angular app and we'll follow our request to the server and then back to the client. And armed with this little tip, uh, you will be able to effectively debug your Angular Spring Boot apps. Before we begin, I would like to remind you that you can subscribe to this channel to stay in touch with the latest courses that will sharpen your programming skills. I fired up the Noted API application and we're going to start by putting a breakpoint to the send feedback method. Now, I hope you're familiar with it because it's what we've been working for for the past previous episodes. So we have a breakpoint in here and this is just a Spring Boot application, so no surprises here. And uh, debugging Java applications is pretty straightforward. Now, what can we do to debug our application, our Angular application? So maybe when I send the feedback, uh, maybe I want to put a breakpoint in here. So I want to know what is being executed and then I want to also capture this debugger right here. So I want a complete loop between my Angular front end and the Spring Boot back end. Now, obviously, if I put a breakpoint in here and I run my application, nothing will happen. Because although we have a breakpoint in here, our application is not configured to, you know, uh, pause at this debugger location. And uh, we can prove that pretty easily. We can just, you know, ng serve. And I can prove it to you. And then we'll see how to configure IntelliJ for this project to enable, you know, TypeScript and Angular debugging. And once you do that, you'll be able to put breakpoints inside your components exactly like you would in, you know, normal Java or, you know, C sharp applications. So let's let this project build and give it a first try. Okay. So I'll fire up an incognito window. I'll go to localhost 4200 feedback. Okay, I'm going to write a name, I'm going to write an email and some cool feedback. I will hit send feedback and probably yeah this breakpoint was it. You know we have the feedback view model but notice that you know this breakpoint was not hit. So what can we do to fix this? Well first of all in our Angular project we need to add a JavaScript debugging configuration. So we're going to go here, add the new configuration, we'll choose JavaScript debug. Okay, we'll put you know the default browser. Okay, debug noted. Okay. Uh, we are going to provide a URL of our application. So in our case it's localhost. Um actually it's http localhost four two zero zero and ensure breakpoints are detected when loading scripts. Okay, so I'll hit apply. And now I have this new configuration. Now, of course, it will not work out of the box. What we need to do is we need to start our application using the npm start command. So not uh, ng start, uh, ng serve, but npm start, which, you know, during this process, we also fire the ng serve. But this npm start will allow us to use the debugger, the JavaScript debugger that we've just created in here. And we just have to wait a little bit because, you know, it's taking a little bit longer than the classic ng serve. 
I'll close his browser. Okay, and now we don't open a browser and navigate to localhost 4200 ourselves. Instead, because we have this configuration enabled, we can actually click on the debug button here. So we click on this run configuration and what we'll get is we'll get this browser which is now connected to the JavaScript debugger in IntelliJ. And now if you go to feedback, you know, we can type in then uh, another awesome feedback. We'll click send feedback. And now notice that we've hit this breakpoint in our Angular feedback component, okay? So, and from now on, you know, everything is, you know, quite simple, just as before. Uh, we can step over and we can see our URL and now we will perform a post, you know, so we can continue. And now we've reached the breakpoint in the Noted API, so in the, in the Spring Boot application. And you see, we have a correct binding and we hit continue. And basically we've debugged our application from the client side to the server side and back to Angular. Now, this is how you would debug your applications, your Angular application, um, right in IntelliJ without having to open the Chrome developer tools and do it in there because that's another option. So another option would be, you know, to open his browser, click F12, and then in sources, you can control P and search for the feedback component, which should be this one. And here inside the feedback component, you can put, you know, a breakpoint in here. And then, you know, you can also debug it. Just write something in here, doesn't really matter. And see, now we can also debug our application, our Angular application in the Chrome tools. But I don't want to do this. I think it's far more effective to stay in your IDE and do all the debugging from there because, you know, the fewer context switches that you have when developing, the more productive you'll be. And I just wanted to show you how you can effectively debug Angular Spring Boot applications without leaving IntelliJ. Before we close, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills. Just go to the Romanian Coder YouTube page and click on the subscribe button. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at RomanianCoder and you can also check out my blog www.romaniancoder.com. Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye.